Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning at uh, on the 17th of June and ready for morning prayer. Morning prayer this today begins with 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 13 through 17. 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the emperor. 1 Peter 3, or 2, 1 Peter 2, verses 13 through 17. Let's pray. Lord God in heaven, we thank you that you have freed us and that we are a freed people. You're the one who emancipated us, just as you did uh, our forebears from Egypt under their taskmaster, who forced them to slave away and labor day after day, week after week for years, Lord. We were once slaves to our sin, once slaves to the evil one. And uh, you have set us free. You've broken the chains and, and put us on a, a path of liberty. And so, Lord, we have this blessing, so help us to use it, not to use it as a cover for sin, but to use it, Lord, as your servants, to be free as your servants. And so we pray that in that freedom, we would, um, for your sake, we would honor and subject ourselves to every human institution that we should. And so we pray for that help that we may be those who um, um, are honorable, that um, we may put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. By doing good, we would, um, um, we would do that which is truly pleasing and beneficial for the common good. Help us, Lord, in this. It's not always easy to, to decipher what that, is, what that is, and so we pray for your help. Lord God, we ask you that you would be with uh, the visitors that come to our church, and uh, we are so grateful for those that we've had over the last uh, year or so, and some who have stayed, and we pray that you would help us to be, uh, continue to be the kind of church that is a welcoming church, and that um, people who come to visit, even if they're not Christians, would know that they are with Christians, but they're with Christians who will um, be patient and tolerant and careful and caring and um, that some would belong and believe with us and as we pursue truth, worship, and Christian love to equip us to make disciples, Lord. Lord, we pray that um, you would also be with uh, Fred and Carolyn, watch over them and, and nurture them in their, in their, uh, their, where, they, where they live, keep them safe and preserve them. Thank you that uh, uh, this virus has not entered that particular uh, adult living facility and we pray that you would help them as they deal with their own uh, physical um, struggles and uh, with vision, with being able to read and such. Give them peace and help them. Watch over, Lord. Um, watch over Stephanie and uh, continue to preserve her. May she know that you're walking with her. May she thrive in your goodness to her. And I pray for Donald and Ginger, um, asking you, Lord, to uh, uh, give them your, your kindness, Lord. Prosper their hearts as well as their home, and keep them safe. Lord, I pray for also for those, some in our church and some who are not in our church, who are dealing with uh, physical, um, physical um, disabling conditions, Lord. Um, I would ask you, Father, they are such a, a blessing to us in so many ways, and um, I pray that you would, you would sustain them, that they would know that they are valued members of your church, and and valued friends and um, uh, valued fellow Christians, and and that would cheer their hearts. And I pray that you would comfort them with the ailments and the pains that they have, and give them strength. And um, Lord, in a, here in America, where achievement is everything, kind of our our own national idol, uh, I pray that they would realize that um, achievement um, is your gift, and it is done in different ways, and that they would be content with what you have given them and that we would be, uh, we would encourage them in that contentment. Lord God, there are so many other things to pray for, but uh, we are we are delighted that we can come and pour out our hearts to you. 
Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. And may your word stick, stick to our heart better than gorilla glue. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there we go. So tomorrow, I'll pick back up there at 1 Peter 2, verse 18. That's what we'll pick up tomorrow. And so until then, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.